Yeah. If you are in the moment, yeah. you know, if there's no thoughts about what happened yesterday, any time in the past, there's no projection of, you know, I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be okay until Saturday when I'm going to a party, all this looking forward to something, you know, anticipating something that is not now, because you don't actually want to be here and now, because you're not feeling so great, or maybe it's boring or whatever it is. But to be in that now gives us, you know, um, the opportunity to love what we're doing. Yeah. Because we're, we're, we're focused. Yeah. Again, it's the focus. You're quite right. It's not an either or. But, you know, it's, but we can't make, you know, we, we can't just be sitting around waiting for the, the right No, no, no. No, no, no. Know, it's always using kind of the circumstances that we have. Yeah. And then we find that the circumstances naturally move in a way that is even more amazing than we would have expected. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I, you know, having kind of worked as a kind of a principal theological um, community where we were with a lot of students with a lot of different skills, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes they would, uh, would think, I have these skills and I really should be using them in this way. And, you know, you look at them and think, well, actually, you, you know, you could be right. You, so you certainly do seem to have, you know, those skills and those have been things that you've used in the past. Yeah. You might have particular, it might be artistic, it may be this or that. But actually when they learned to kind of put what they thought were their skills aside for a little bit and just engage, suddenly they discovered they had actually far more skills, new skills that they actually hadn't thought about. And it was only because they were willing to kind of almost let go of the concept mm -hmm. of themselves that they discovered there was actually so much more to them. Mm -hmm. And there was more incredible things that they could do, mm -hmm. which were far more satisfying, mm -hmm. you know, to them in all ways. Absolutely. Than whatever that's, they thought they could be good at. And that's a great illustration as well of, I think, what, what I'm saying, perhaps in a, different, in, in a different context. You know, if you have thoughts of what might have been or what might be instead of where you are now in this moment... That, I think, is what you're talking about. So you're actually being pulled away from that place where you are actually able, through focus on the present moment, to get in touch with that deeper part of you, if you like, that essence, which enables you to be in touch with whatever you love, yeah. uh, whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? Whereas that will not come... If the focus is on, oh, I wish I'd done that, you know, blah, 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 or, you know, I'm not going to be okay until I get such and such a place somewhere in the future, or such and such a person, or whatever it is, such and such a job. And I think that ties in with what you're saying. So the, the, the focus in the now, then suddenly you get to a point where you're not regretting anymore. You're not thinking anymore, well, I'd rather not be with these cows. I'd rather be doing something else. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're totally in the now. That then connects us, I think, at the deeper level with the awareness that brings, if you like, the wisdom That's right. to the surface to enable us then to identify, yeah, this is where I am. This is my... This is my dharma, this is my purpose, this is my raison d'etre, this is because, me. Because, you know, this is real presence. It is, and I think it's sometimes, you know, although we've got our own self-interests, we're not omniscient in the way that we always can mentally gauge what's best for us. Maybe at a deeper level we, we can know, but generally, you know, when we're making plans, you know, they're based on things we learned and things we know about ourselves and things we kind of see in the world and kind of you know somehow they're stimulated to make, make plans but often those plans are not going to make us happy you know and it's often That's the oh, irony isn't it and you know yeah. it's often kind of almost putting the plans aside and just kind of as I say focusing in on the moment and making this moment this circumstance the best you know it, it can possibly be and just enjoying it that suddenly that, as you say, that kind of moment of being in the now allows us to attract the higher kind of plans to us. 